<laughs> Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> I guess so. We wanted to, I don't know what we wanted to do. What do we want to do? <laughs> okay, this is We're not fun. ready. We're, We're not, not ready. ready. No, so part of my, <laughs> yep, on cue. <laughs> Anybody that has a rooster, when you start filming, <laughs> the rooster crows. But that is Sir Crow's a lot. He crows at everything. We have six roosters now. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so part of my um, daily routine is collecting, e <laughs> collecting eggs at the end of the day. And there's usually three or four spots around the property that we have to find the eggs. <laughs> and recently, over the last... I don't know, month, two months, really over winter. It's been pretty consistent. Yeah, we've uh, <laughs> the new the Six new roosters. roosters. Yeah, the new roosters are still they're learning how to crow, and it's just it's, it's adorable. It's pathetic. It's adorable. <laughs> you you go, little guy. You you got this. Okay, we're just gonna suffer through this. So all right, so on average, we're getting between nine and eleven eggs per day. And how many laying hens do we have? So we have thirteen laying hens that are currently laying, and we have five additional that should start laying within the next month and a half to two months. Yeah. So with nine to eleven per day, that's more than fifty percent of the hens laying every single day. And there's been a lot of talk recently about why hens may not be laying and what you can kind of do to get your hens to lay and so i think what we wanted to do is just give our thoughts on why our hens are giving us so many eggs per day yeah and just talk through what we're doing <laughs> and see if maybe it would help if you are struggling with your hens laying right now yeah so the first thing we thought we'd talk about is the feed that we're feeding them <laughs> So it sounds so weird, the feed that we're feeding them. Uh, we do purchase our chicken feed at Tractor Supply, and there's a lot of talk about Tractor Supply brand food not producing eggs. But we haven't had that experience, but maybe we're not using that particular brand. So we're actually using uh, Nature's Best organic feed. It is their pellets. We don't go for the crumble, that's just a huge waste. Um, and it is for egg layers specifically. We really like this one. A, it's organic, but also because it's so close to our name. So close to our name, it's Kramer Feed, even though Kramer's not spelled the same way, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> um, and then in addition to that, we take Producer's Pride scratch grains and we supplement some of their feed with a scratch grain. Not a lot, but uh, probably a 30% mixture of this to the, to the organic uh, layer pellets. And we've been using this for two years. Yeah and we've really really liked this particular brand of chicken feed so another thing we do with our uh, chickens is we allow them to free range so we do have a net around their enclosures their pens but we also we leave it open so that they can come and go as they please so they have access to the compost pile so they're able to scratch through the compost pile they're able to get any of the scraps that we um, provide to them, which we give them scraps almost on a daily basis. They also have access to our flower beds and they're constantly scratching around in the hay and the other areas. But not during um, gardening. gardening time. <laughs> just <laughs> right now. Yeah, just right now, yeah. Um, so that's another thing. So they, they are able to forage and get other uh, proteins and other items. One quick note though, on the, leaving the netting open we only do that during the day the netting is closed after they go back into their coop for the evening we close that and make sure that it's energized for uh, for their safety another thing because in the winters you get very little sunlight and the days just are not long enough for any of us uh, including the chickens we actually have kept them over the entire winter underneath an outdoor light and that light actually is on from dusk till dawn and so we do feel that that has also helped with giving them some additional light so that they're not going to bed at 4 p.m. and you know staying in their coop all day long. Light is one of the main contributors to, to, egg, to egg production is the <laughs> amount of light that they get on a daily basis. So I think that's a pretty big factor for us. Yeah. Okay, another factor is the fact that our hens are really young. 
So we actually have three different ages of hens in our flock. We have our original eight that are around two years old right now. We have another uh, five hens that we hatched out approximately a year ago. And then we have an additional five hens that we hatched out about three months ago. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is have an active progression so that every winter they are new to egg laying. And so that will hopefully not have them go dormant during the winter time. So we're gonna continue to do that as we build out our flock. Yeah. So we have been averaging between 8 and 11 eggs every single day pretty much the entire winter. With that we have, are getting a little creative with what we do with our eggs. So I went ahead and cooked up 18 eggs uh, and then some bacon and I made some sausage patties. The sausage patties are actually made from the meat uh, from our pigs on the farm. It was just the ground pork and then I added all the seasonings to make it a sausage. Went ahead and made some biscuits today as well and then we have some cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up some breakfast sandwiches, uh, 18 of them to be exact, and I'm going to do uh, nine sausage and nine bacon egg and cheese and get those prepped and ready for the freezer. It's a very hearty breakfast sandwich. That's my kind of breakfast sandwich. <laughs> That's great. Very thick. <laughs> I'm squishing my little sandwich. I'm gonna bust my egg. Take out the bag after the key light stops flashing. Oh, oh. there we go. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Is that the first time you've ever sealed food? That is the first time I've ever sealed food. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we might be in trouble. I might seal everything now. <laughs> All right, so you kind of wiggle it in, get it to about and then voila, voila. Let me just hold it. I think it just takes a second. Cause that's what happened last time is I pushed it and then it just. Weird. There it goes, it just takes some. Oh, do you have to hit that seal button? I don't know, I just hit seal. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I was like, oh no. Oh, yep, it's just sealing it. <laughs> Honey, I guess this one's gonna be for tomorrow. <laughs> Aw, well, that was a waste. Well, that's weird. Yeah, okay. Huh. Well, it did seal it. Not as cool. Nathan doesn't get to touch any buttons anymore. <laughs> Alright. I didn't squish them. No, that's because it didn't vacuum right. I know, so it didn't squish them, so I did pretty good. Okay, it's just not going to last as, like, freezer mm -hmm. friendly as long. It makes them so hard! I need a pair of pants that do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cool! Oh, that's fun. This is fun. I see why people like these. Alright. This one, fail. Yeah. These ones are good. All right. So you're gonna vacuum seal all of these, put these in the freezer. Yep. Okay. And then once we're done with that, we can talk about other ways to use eggs. Ta-da! That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. 
call you Miss Jimmy Dean. You were like filming over there. Was I? <laughs> yeah, you were like this. Yeah. Push -haw. yeah, when the kids were at home, we used to always buy the Jimmy Dean little breakfast sandwiches. And last time I was at the store, I noticed how expensive they were. And I was like, I can make those. <laughs> so this was my attempt. So 18 eggs down <laughs> out of the hundred that we had on our countertop. So other ways we are getting rid of, I shouldn't say getting rid of, other ways we're using our eggs are, uh, we're actually going to be giving some to friends. We have 36 packaged up for tomorrow to bring to our friend's uh, house to gift to them because their chickens are not laying as many eggs as they would like. And then we also are going to be, I'm going to be doing some other prep meals. I'm going to scramble some eggs and make some French toast and make little breakfast uh, containers for those uh, just like this. So we'll have other freezer meals for breakfast food, just easy. Uh, you just thaw it out, throw it in the microwave, warm it up and it's ready to go because everything's already pre-cooked. Hard boiled eggs. <laughs> I hard boiled 12 eggs yesterday and so those are just going to be for little snacks as needed. And then we are looking at wanting to use approximately, we probably use about four to six eggs a day when I'm cooking, but if I'm not cooking or if we're eating the prepped meals that we've already prepped, looking for other ways that we can uh, preserve the eggs. So what are your favorite methods, knowing that this should be the low period and we're getting ready to have five additional hens that start uh, laying here shortly and we're getting ready to start going into the spring months so put in the comments below your suggestions of your favorite methods and what you do when you have excess eggs all right thanks everyone take care bye another big factor to this is that most of our laying another big factor to this is the fact Another fact.